the Brazilian superintendents for the paranormal. Status, deactivated since 1992. Description, the Brazilian superintendent for the paranormal was a governmental military and intelligence agency founded by the Brazilian military government that was extinct in 1992 during a catastrophic incident. Its activities and passives transferred to the Lucifer Foundation after decades of failed conflict between both organizations. During the period in which the military government was still active in Brazil, the superintendent acted in the country as the main institution associated with the interactive macro in the scenario of the anomalous, in detriment of the foundation and other groups of interest, through political and military maneuvers, had generalized its presence in the territory. The superintendent studied, contained, destroyed, developed, and produced anomalies, greatly emphasizing the development of technology in Brazil, particularly that of the military industry. Its administration subjected to the control of the Ministry of Defense, the President of the Republic, and the high echelons of the Brazilian military. The superintendence is a state secret, therefore, only a small number of organizations and individuals possess proof of its existence. Some without even knowing what exactly the superintendence was or did. Type Military, Scientific, Technocratic Organization A superintendent appointed by the President and the Ministry of Defense managed the administrative operations of the organization defining department directors for the administration of sciences. These directors coordinated groups of scientists in projects and research. Groups possessed a project leader, which reported directly to the department directors. The research and projects were commissioned by relevant government military figures on specific cases requested by the scientists themselves. A commander appointed by the high echelon of the military forces was responsible for the management of military assets and the organization of operations, the military structure of the Brazilian army and its elementarities are maintained and coordinated actively. Attitude towards the foundation, hostile. The Scientific Academy of the Anomalous Status Deactivated since 1992 Description The Scientific Academy of the Anomalous was an independent academical organization that conducted scientific research associated with the paranormal in territories governed by or targeted by the interests of Portugal. The Academy has existed for centuries, succeeding two different Portuguese organizations related to the Anomalous, one related to the Portuguese crown and the other related to Salazar's Estado Novo and the University of Evroa. The academy has been restructured several times across the years, modernizing itself to better fit the current epoch. The academy is an academic institution with multiple disciplines that comprise both the anomalous and the ordinary in two different macros. Functioning as a university in both contexts, and developing technology and knowledge for either. In 1992, it merged with the Lucifer Foundation. Type, scientific, academic, technocratic. Organization, a directorial council, organized the operations, appointing a vector to preside and administrate the university. Professors were appointed as department directors, organizing its research teams and functionaries. The hierarchical organization and its general functionalities remember that of an ordinary academy. Attitude towards the foundation, friendly. The Technothaumaturts Status, active. Description, the Technothaumaturts are a society comprised of individuals that utilize thaumaturgy in conjunction with other technological implements associated with modularities of engineering and other sciences in order to create paratechnology. 
The created technology is oftentimes not available to the general public, being destined for inside use only. There are indications that this organization have existed since the first industrial revolution. Type scientific, industrial, pharmaceutical, technocratic. Organization. A superintendent council appoints an operational director to administrate operations and other activities, who is also responsible for appointing specific managers to lead and organize those. Nevertheless, members may choose to work autonomously. Attitude towards the foundation friendly. The farmer churches have worked with the foundation in the past. The order of the tower and failure. Status active description. The order of the tower and failure is an academic. A military organization that seeks to amass a garrison of relics related to religious cults and culture, from both natural theologies and anomalous ones. Its political, social, and cultural structure is deeply ingrained in the historical roots of the Portuguese Templar orders. An idiosyncratic element in their organization is the code of the three virtues: respect, tenacity, and compassion. That is intrinsically associated with their lifestyle and their pharmaceutical abilities related to the use of the anomalous substance denominated valor. The integrants of this organization do vary: academics, military, philanthropists, politics, and many others. Though the quality of each member brings to the table. Is more prized than anything else. Type, military, academic, religious, organization. A grand master and a council are elected by the council of commandores. These powers supervise and manage the organization's operations. Members are promoted in degrees and ranks, defining their hierarchical powers and functions. Attitude towards the foundation neutral. The reliquary, status active, description. The reliquary is a paramilitary organization that collects anomalous objects in order to utilize them to expand the political and economic influence of its members, either through the objects' aggregated value or by their possible uses. Involved with highly organized international crime. Type, indeterminate. Organization unknown. Attitude towards the foundation hostile. The hunting club of the fauna and the flora. Status active. Description: The hunting club of the fauna and the flora is an association of affluent and influent individuals that seek entertainment through the sport of hunting of biological anomalous objects possessing peculiar. Or peculiar abilities. Members of this association have access to military hardware technology, but do not have the numbers nor highly destructive assets. Declared enemies of the reliquary. Type indeterminate. Organization. Association similar to a guild, with an elected huntmaster and associates. Meritocratic. Attitude towards the foundation. Neutral. The foundation and the HCFF have worked together in the past. Despite ideological differences, the HCFF has never interrupted or been hostile to the official operations of the Yusufun Foundation. Anomalous Eyes Limited. Status active. Description: Anomalous Eyes is a private. And secret espionage company that specializes in collecting information directly related to anomalies. Its only goals are the acquisition and selling of data to its contractors, such as reports, documents, credentials, software, blueprints of buildings, among other things. This company only cares about its profits, and the price of its services is calculated by the difficulty of acquiring the information and its. Confidentiality. Despite
Despite what it does, AE does not acquire, hold, or utilize anomalous items or phenomena in its operations. There is not enough data to project an exact number, but we know that AE holds a considerable quantity of clients all over the world, be them groups, churches, organizations, and big corporations. Type Mercenary Organization, it uses a system almost identical to that of a conventional limited company. Attitude towards the Foundation, mainly impartial, although hostile due to the nature of its works.